You're listening to Muldrow Lady Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by todayinfortsmith.com. Yeah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, if you're joining us. We are at the Roger Sharp Activity Center in Muldrow tonight. We're kicking off 4A district tournament play between the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs and the Shakota Lady Wildcats. The regular season wrapped up earlier this week with uh, two big wins over Howe, and now our sights are set on that big gold ball in Oklahoma City. My name is Clint Davis. To my right is my broadcast partner, Dennis McCaslin. We are today in FortSmith.com. Dennis, we've seen these Lady Bulldogs handle Shakota in three games this season. What can we expect out of tonight? Well, I don't expect to see much of anything different than what we've seen so far. This Shakota team is not the best team in the world. They're 3-19 and on the season. Shakota... Uh, you know, we, we saw them twice during the regular season, saw them in the Chicota tournament, and uh, it was just a tub thumping all three times. You know, in fact, we played them back-to-back, played them in the tournament, turned around two, to, two or three days later, played them here in a regular season game. And I expect to see both these both these Moto teams take care of business tonight, and we'll start off here with a good effort from the girls. Yeah, now we've got the starting lineup for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. Coming out to the floor, we've got Madison Chambers, Hannah Boyette, Cameron Johnson, Taylor Collins, and Chaylen Mays. We've already seen the starters come out for the Shakota Lady Wildcats. I'm going to have to get those marked down here in just a second. I know we've got number zero, Olivia Clayton, number 10. She is not on my list. <laughs> number 15, Madison Proctor. Number 23, Vanessa Henson. And number 44, Kira Collins. That's going to be our starters for the Shakota Lady Wildcats. If we can add number 10 to the list, we will be complete. We've got a jump ball going down. Taylor Collins controls over to Hannah Boyette, over to Madison Chambers on the left side. Madison looking around, sends a pass off to Cameron Johnson. It gets picked off by Olivia Clayton. And the Lady Bulldogs capitalize on another early turnover by the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. That seems to be a recurring theme with the Lady Bulldogs. First possession of the game has been turnovers in the last three or four games that I can remember. Pass over to the top of the key. Proctor now with the ball. Ball over to the right side. Back over to the left. Henson with the ball and a bounce pass down low. And a shot up is good for Shakota. Two points in. And the Lady Wildcats lead the Lady Bulldogs 2-0 with 7-10 left in this first quarter. Madison Chambers in the corner, three-point shot. Boom! Money. 3-2, the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs are on top now by one. Proctor with the ball, trying to get past half court. Lady Wildcats on the move, pass down low to Olivia Clayton. And that's another two points in for the Lady Wildcats, and they are playing basketball better than what we've seen so far. Bounce pass down to Cameron Johnson. Down low to Taylor Collins. Taylor loses the ball, throws it out to Cameron Johnson. Two-point shot no good, rebounded by Taylor Collins. Up for another two-point shot no good. And we've got Taylor Collins going to the line. She drew the foul. She will be shooting two free throws. Getting set here. Taylor's got the ball in hand from the referee. She's done her dribbling. Shots up. That first one's good. Four to four now. Tie ball game. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. Taylor Collins at the free throw line getting ready for another shot. That's up and good as well. Nothing but net on both. Out of bounds here by number 44, Kira Collins. Inbound pass to Henson, back to Collins, over to Olivia Clayton. That ball is knocked out of bounds. And that will be Muldrow basketball. Cameron Johnson out of bounds, inbound pass behind half court to Hannah Boyette. Hannah bringing the ball up the floor. Looking right, she's going to hit Madison Chambers in the corner, down low to Chalen Mays. Up off the glass, two points good for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. 7-4 now, 6-11 left in this first quarter. Pass over to Henson. The Wildcats are trying to move the ball up the floor. That ball is going to be picked off by Madison Chambers, and she's going to step out of bounds trying to save that. 
And the ball will belong to the Shakota Lady Wildcats. Inbound pass now from Collins to Proctor. Past half court now, the Lady Wildcats pass over to the left side to Henson. And a shot up for three, and that's in and out. Rebound by Madison Chambers. She's going to take the ball up the floor by herself. A bounce pass to Shakota. There's a turnover, and we're going to have a foul. Looks like on Shaylin Mays, that's going to be her first foul of the ball game. That will belong to Shakota. Madison Proctor bringing the ball up to half court, past half court now. On the left side of the floor, looking down into the corner for Henson. She's going to go right. That's over to Collins with another shot up. That's no good. Hannah Boyette with the rebound. Bounce pass, all or skip pass all the way over to Jalen Mays, and she goes up for two, and that's no good, but she does draw the foul. Jalen Mays going up for two free throws. She will be at the line. We've already seen Taylor Collins go to the free throw line and make two in a row. And Shaylin Mays misses her first free throw of the game. Getting set for a second free throw here. Shots up. Also no good. Shakota Lady Wildcats with the ball. Got number 25, Alyssa Brown, in the ball game. Pass over to Collins, back over to Clayton. Clayton looks for a bounce pass, picked off by Cameron Johnson. She's going to take it down to the hoop and stops for a jump shot. Gets blocked by Olivia Clayton out of bounds. And that's going to be Muldrow Lady Bulldogs basketball. Hannah Boyette out of bounds, throwing it in. Madison Chambers down to Taylor Collins at the high post. Back over to Cameron Johnson. Back to Hannah Boyette. She's going to bounce pass down to Madison Chambers. Up off the glass, two points in. Lady Bulldogs up 9-4 to four with 440 left in this first quarter. Alyssa Brown loses the ball out of bounds. And that will belong back to Muldrow. So we will have Madison Chambers out of bounds, passing the ball in to Hannah Boyette, who will bring it up past half court. Nine to four, Lady Bulldogs lead with four and a half left in the first quarter. Cameron Johnson, three-point shot. No good, rebounded by Shakota. Lost, regained by the Lady Bulldogs. Chalen Mays goes up for two, and that is good. 11 to four, Lady Bulldogs on top. Bounce pass, out of bounds. Last touched by Muldrow. Possession stays with Shakota. Number 25, Alyssa Brown with the ball out of bounds. Looking for a place to go with it inbound. And there is a picked off pass by Taylor Collins. She goes straight to the hoop. Off the glass, two points in. 13-4 with four minutes left in the first quarter. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs are on top. Lady Wildcats trying to get the ball past half court. There's a pass down low. And a pass back out to the three-point line. Olivia Clayton wants to drive. Passes it out to Proctor. She gets a shot blocked by Cameron Johnson. Shaylin Mays comes up with it over to Hannah Boyette. Hannah doing some moves, and she throws it over to Cameron Johnson. Over to Madison Chambers for three. Hey! Money shot. That's two in a row Cameron for Madison Chambers. We got a timeout on the floor. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Muldrow Lady Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by todayinfortsmith.com. We're going to bring you back in live with a little cat scratch fever. Ted Nugent is going to bring us back in here at the Roger Sharp Activity Center in Muldrow. We're getting our roster squared away for these Lady Wildcats. We've got Shakota Ball after a a nailed three-point shot, second one of the game for Madison Chambers. Taylor Collins with the steal, pass down to Hannah Boyette off the glass, two points in. 18 to four, the Lady Bulldogs lead. Hannah Boyette put one in from the left side. I was hoping she would shoot that left-handed, but she didn't. Hannah Boyette with another steal, up off the glass again for another two points, and she draws the foul. So Hannah Boyette going to the line for a three-point play. She's got a chance to put a free throw in. And now we've got the Bulldog mascot down here below us with the cheerleaders. That thing always creeps me out a little bit. I never did like Chuck E. Cheese either when I went 
That big mouse crawling around. Now we've got a bulldog with a studded collar on in front of us. Hannah Boyette, first shot up. Boom. Good from the free throw line. Lady Wildcats going to try to do something else with the ball now. Almost stripped away by Taylor Collins. And number five, Saray Butler, and she can't find anything to do with the ball. We're going to get a foul on Madison Chambers. A little too much action going on on the sideline. Cat scratch fever, if you will. Here we go. Madison Proctor, inbound pass. She's going to lose it out of bounds. Madison thought she fouled her. It looked like she did, but the referee was on the backside of that play and couldn't see from the side like we could. So the Lady Bulldogs have the ball inbound pass to Hannah Boyette. She's moving it up the floor. So Ray Butler called with the foul as Hannah Boyette goes to the floor. But she's back up, doing just fine. She's a trooper. Inbound pass to Hannah. She's going to dribble left. Madison Chambers at the three-point line. Down low to Taylor Collins. Bounce pass to Cameron Johnson up off the glass. Good for two points. And the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs are up 23-4. to four. I called a 20-6 into the first quarter, but we're awfully close to that. Here is Clayton over to Butler, blocked by Hannah Boyette. And they're going to call Hannah with the foul on that. That's going to be Hannah's first foul of the game. This time, Tuesday, she had three fouls and sat out the remainder of the first quarter on all of the second. So Hannah Boyette, one foul so far. There's that one-handed voodoo from Saray Butler. That's probably why she missed that free throw. I've never seen anybody shoot a one-handed free throw in my life until Saray Butler. One-handed shot again up. No good. I could tell that when it left her hand. Taylor Collins with the rebound. Lady Bulldogs moving it down the floor. Taylor with a pass out to Cameron Johnson. Down low to Hannah Boyette. And she goes up for a shot. Fouled by Olivia Clayton. Hannah going to the line for two more free throws. Lady Bulldogs so far made three free throws and missed two. Let's see if Hannah Boyette can sink a fourth. There it is. Second free throw for Hannah Boyette is good for this game. She's about to shoot the second one in this trip for her third of the game. That's up and good as well. And Proctor trying to get the ball up past half court. Ball down into the corner. Back to the top of the key, over to Proctor, down to Clayton. She's going to throw it away. Proctor comes up with it. Lady Wildcats keeping this possession alive. Pass to the top of the key. Over to the right side, almost picked off by Hannah Boyette. She's lucky she didn't get a foul call on that. Taylor Collins swats a pass out of bounds. These Lady Wildcats do not have much room. Now we're going to see Paige Hughes coming into the ball game along with Alicia McCloria. Madison Chambers, Hannah Boyette going to take a breather with a 21-point lead, 25-4, to with 138 left in the first quarter. Inbound pass. Hey, Chelsea Possage is in the game, too. Looks like Chalen Mays went to have a seat as well. So we've got Paige Hughes, Chelsea Possage, Taylor Collins, Cameron Johnson, and Alicia McCloria in the game. We've got a violation here on Shakota. And their coaches need to get off the court. We've got one coach standing at the three-point line on the Lady Bulldogs' side. That's not supposed to happen. Lady Bulldogs with the basketball again. Out of bounds. Cameron Johnson into Chelsea Possage. Paige Hughes with the ball on the right side. Down to Cameron Johnson in the corner. Skip pass all the way over to Possage. Back to Taylor Collins. Back to Possage for three. No good. Rebounded by Shakota. Oh, they're going to call a weak foul on Taylor Collins. That was terrible. So that will be the fourth team foul for the Lady Bulldogs. We have five team fouls on Shakota. Lady Bulldogs trying to bring, I'm sorry, Lady Wildcats trying to bring the ball up the floor. Number 45, Gracie Lewis into the ball game. She took a hard hit last time we saw her on this court. 
Clayton down low. Shot up, blocked by Cameron Johnson. That's a little payback for the shot earlier when Clayton blocked Cameron. Now Cameron blocks Clayton. Paige Hughes with the ball, top of the key, looking over to Chelsea Possage. On the left side, pass to Alicia McClory on the right side. Back to Paige Hughes, out near half court, top of the key, 39 seconds left in this first quarter. Ball on the right side, Alicia McCloria back to Chelsea Possage. Possage back to McCloria. We're going to keep away for about another 26 seconds until we can take a last-second shot. Back to McCloria. She almost loses the ball and then dribbles it out of bounds. And we held the ball for that long for absolutely no reason. So Shakota is going to have the ball back to end the first quarter if the Lady Bulldogs don't come up with a steal. Clayton moving the ball up the floor for Shakota. Taylor Collins playing some heavy defense. Proctor with the ball now. Eight seconds left on the clock. She's going to drive it in. We're going to have a jump ball. Paige Hughes ties it up with Proctor with 4.8 seconds left. And that ball will stay with Shakota. Inbound pass. Almost knocked away. They are not going to get a shot. Yeah, they get a shot off. Proctor for three. No good. That was the longest four seconds I've ever seen into the first quarter. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs 21 point lead 25 to 4. We're going to move into the second quarter, but first we're going to take a 60 second break and we'll be right back. You're listening to Muldrow Lady Bulldogs basketball presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith and brought to you by todayinfortsmith.com. And we're going to bring you back in live. Big thanks to Auto Finders in Roland and Liz Moffitt with O'Neill Real Estate. We're going to bring you back in second quarter, getting ready to kick off. Eight minutes fresh on the clock. We've got Hannah Boyette tying a shoe. There we go. Now we're ready to roll. Alicia McCloria into Chelsea Possage. We have Paige Hughes, Chalen Mays, Chelsea Possage, Hannah Boyette, and Alicia McCloria on the floor. Pass down low to Chalen Mays. And we're going to have... I don't know what that call was. Jalen Mays had the ball in her hands, but they called that out of bounds. Gave it back to Muldrow. This is the same terrible referee we had Tuesday. Chelsea Possage for another banger from the corner. That's good for three. 28-4 to four now. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs dominating the Shakota Lady Wildcats. Saray Butler bringing the ball up the floor for Shakota. She's going to pass it off into the corner to Gracie Lewis. Back to Butler. A pass back over to number 10. Still, we don't have a name on her. Clayton with the ball now. She's going to drive and kick it back out to Butler. Gracie Lewis for three. No good. Rebounded by nobody. That ball is going to go out of bounds, and it belongs to the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. 7-10 left on the clock, 28-4. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs lead. Clint Davis and Dennis McCaslin here with todayinfortsmith.com. And this is the first game in the postseason tournament, district tournament here for the Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Chalen Mays with the ball. Pass out to Posset for another three. That's off the mark. Rebound by Alicia McCloria. Boy, when that ball comes up off a rebound and goes loose, nobody is going to beat McCloria to the basketball. There's a pass over to the right side. Posset with the ball now. Back over to McCloria for three. Ooh, nailed it. 31 to 4, Alicia McCloria. Mercy sakes, Lady Bulldogs putting it on the Shakota Lady Wildcats. Just like they've done all season. This is the fourth meeting that we've seen between these two teams. And Muldrow is not letting off the gas. Clayton with the ball over on the left corner. Back out to Alyssa Brown at the top of the key. She drives it in and kicks it out to Gracie Lewis. Back down to Saray Butler and Butler throws it in and gets it picked off by Hannah Boyette. She's racing down the floor, and she's going to pull it up and then move in, gets the ball stripped. If Hannah had stripped the ball like that against Shakota, they would have called her with a foul. There's a pass down to Clayton, and they've got their sixth point of the ball game, 31-6. to six. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs lead the Shakota Lady Wildcats. Some uneven officiating. We've seen this in the last couple of games. Ball is passed down to Chalen Mays, and she loses it, but it's last touched by Olivia Clayton out of bounds right underneath the goal, right in front of us. Chelsea Possage with the inbound pass, and she's going to kick it off to McCloria. 
And Alicia's going to pass it off to Paige Hughes. Back to Hannah Boyette, who drives. And she's going to lose the ball out of bounds. And they're going to call that last touched by Hannah. We're going to see Kira Collins. And number 14, Aubrey Cooper, come into the ball game for Shakota. Lady Wildcats with the basketball. Saray Butler bringing the ball up the floor. Madison Chambers at the clock desk, getting ready to check back in for the Lady Bulldogs. I wonder who will get a rest now. So Ray Butler takes about eight or nine steps with that ball, but they're going to let her go ahead and keep it. They're out near half court like it's the end of the quarter, but we've got five minutes left on the clock. Number 10, got a little double dribble going on. Nobody called that. That's fine. So Ray Butler with the ball again. Pass picked off by Paige Hughes, and she's going to slow things down. Hannah Boyette with the ball, past half court, over to Chelsea Possage on the left side. Bounce pass down to Shaylin Mays, and she's going to power her way in, give it off to McClory over to Paige Hughes. Ooh, down to Hannah Boyette. She gives a little give and go to Shaylin Mays, who puts up a backwards layup for another two points. And the Lady Bulldogs are up 33-6 with 4-18, 4-17, 4-16 left in the second quarter. Alicia McCloria looking to pick off a dribble, but she does not. Pass over to the right side, back over to number 10 for Shakota. Still don't have a name on her. Number 14, Aubrey Cooper with the ball. Back to Saray Butler. She's going to drive right. Give it straight to Chaylin Mays. She's going to give it off to Hannah Boyette. Hannah's bringing it up the floor, and she is going to take it coast to coast. And gets nailed under the basket. Nobody calls any type of foul. These officials are absolutely ridiculous. There's a shot up down low, number 14, Aubrey Cooper. And Shakota has their eighth point of the ball game. Hannah got nailed under the basket on a layup. And the officials just said, whatever. Pass over to Paige Hughes. Down to Chalen Mays. And Chalen... Also getting hammered under the basket. Had a, someone run into the back of her, and nobody called a foul on that either. Apparently that's legal only when Muldrow has the basketball. So that's going to be Shakota ball. They called Jalen with a walk. Cameron Johnson, Taylor Collins, Madison Chambers, Brianna Dawes in the game. Shot no good for Shakota. Taylor Collins with a rebound. She's going to power it down the floor. Layup, up for two, good. Taylor Collins with another two points on the board, and she draws the foul. So Taylor is going to go to the line for another free throw opportunity. And Madison Proctor and Olivia Clayton back into the ball game for Shakota. Taylor Collins has the basketball at the free throw line, getting ready to put up her third free throw attempt of the game. Shots up, and she misses. Lady Wildcats with the ball, trying not to get it picked off. Three-point shot for Shakota, no good. Madison Chambers with the rebound. She's looking down the floor with a smile on her face. She might have a plan here. Dishes it off to Cameron Johnson down low, and she gets nailed by number 14, Aubrey Cooper. And Cameron Johnson going to the line for two more free throw opportunities. Lady Bulldogs, five for eight from the line. Make that five for nine. Cameron misses her first. Getting ready for another shot. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Shakota. Two missed three-point opportunities for the Lady Bulldogs. That has been the theme of the season. It makes me wonder who comes to the gym and stays late shooting free throws. Olivia Clayton. Passes it off to the top of the key, back over to the left side. There is a shot up. That is an air ball, rebounded by Madison Proctor, almost picked off by Taylor Collins. Clayton goes in, puts up a shot, no good. Cameron Johnson with the rebound, baseball pass all the way down to Madison Chambers. She takes it to the hoop and picks up another foul from Aubrey Cooper. So Madison going to the line, or Maddie as her friends call her. Either way, she's number 23. First free throw is up and no good. That is three consecutive missed free throws for the Lady Bulldogs. 
Number 23, Vanessa Henson coming back into the ball game for Shakota. Maddie getting set up for her second free throw, and that's good. 36 to 8, two minutes left on the clock in the first half. Lady Wildcats with the basketball. Bounce pass down low, no good. Out of bounds, last touched by Taylor Collins. And the Shakota Lady Wildcats will keep possession of the basketball. Madison Proctor inbound pass over to Henson. Back over to Proctor. Back to Olivia Clayton. Back to Henson. Henson takes a three-point shot. That's no good. Rebounded by Maddie Chambers, and she's going to down the floor. Over to Brianna Dawes. Three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Cameron Johnson. And they're going to call a foul on Vanessa Henson. So Cameron Johnson, we've got nine team fouls on Shakota. Cameron at the line for a one-and-one situation. First shot is up and no good. Cameron got her own rebound. Pass over to Taylor Collins. Down low to Maddie Reeves, and Maddie can't hang on to the ball. So another turnover for the Lady Bulldogs. Inbound pass by Shakota. 120 left on the clock in the first half. Proctor bringing the ball up the floor for Shakota in no hurry. Not the type of ball playing I would be doing, down 28 points. There's another pass over to number 10. She passes it down low to number 14, Aubrey Cooper. Cooper up with a shot. That's no good. They let it go out of bounds. And they called that out of bounds. Nobody touched it, but they're giving it back to Shakota. So out of bounds, off the shot. Nobody touched the ball. Still belongs to Shakota. Another shot up from Aubrey Cooper is good. And Shakota has hit 10 points in this first half. 36 to 10. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs with a commanding lead. Taylor Collins with the ball. They're playing keep away at this point. Maddie Chambers with the ball over to Cameron Johnson on the right side. They're playing some heavy defense. Chambers with the ball again over to Brianna Dawes. Back to Chambers, back to Dawes. 20 seconds left in the half. Chambers down to Taylor Collins. Back to Dawes, back to Chambers. Back to Dawes. Brianna dribbles it around and gives it back up to Maddie. Back to Brianna. Seven seconds left on the clock. Brianna looking for a place to go. Pass to Chambers, and she goes down and gives it off to Maddie Reeves. Up off the glass for two points at the end of the first half. The Mulder Lady Bulldogs lead 38-10. We're going to take a break, listen to some sponsors. We'll be right back with Halftime Stats, brought to you by Boyette Farms in Mulder. We'll be right back. You're listening to Muldrow Lady Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by todayinfortsmith.com. And we're going to bring you back in live. We've got Neil Diamond and Sweet Caroline over the overhead. We're going to talk about some halftime stats brought to you by Boyette Farms in Muldrow. We want to say thank you to the entire Boyette family. Uh, we appreciate these folks. They've done a lot for us. They've saved seats for us in the bleachers when the stage has been filled with the band. They've been uh, great to us. And so we're going to get into halftime stats brought to you by them. Dennis, what do you got? Well, Clint, the first half pretty much went like we thought it would. We had eight Lady Bulldogs score in the first half. There were only two of the uh, Chicota girls that scored. Uh, Clayton finished with six points. Cooper finished with four to get to ten points on the scoreboard for the Chicota Lady Wildcats. For the homestanding Lady Bulldogs, Madison Chambers, Uh, Finished with uh, nine points. Collins had eight. Five points for Hannah Boyette. Four points for uh, Johnson, Cameron Johnson. Uh, Three points for McCloria on the one three-pointer she hit. Uh, Two points each for Reeves. And um, check that, six points for um, Shailen Mays. And then three points on a three-pointer from Possage. So eight, eight lady Bulldog scores in the first half, and only two of the visiting Chicago Lady Wildcats able to get in the scoreboard. And this pretty much looks like what we thought it was going to look like. Yeah, it's just it's been terrible all season uh, for Chicago. They've only pulled off three wins this whole season. 
and it's kind of bad, you know. But they've got a lot of growing to do. They've got some young girls on their team, and so there's there's a lot of areas for opportunity. Uh, as far as the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs go, this is exactly what we expected, exactly what we wanted to see. It's good, strong play in district play. Now we're going to go in next weekend. Uh, we're going to be in regional play. The Muldrow Lady Bulldogs will be in Shakota. They won't be playing Shakota. They'll be in the winner's bracket in regional play. And if the boys, Muldrow boys, can win later on, we're going to see them as well in Shakota. And hopefully we'll see Roland there. Roland plays tomorrow night. Uh, at home, they've got uh, Poto at home, and so if they win both of their ball games, we'll all be in Shakota. We'll be broadcasting Roland and Muldrow basketball, maybe possibly four games if we can, depending on where everybody's playing. Uh, if not, we'll all be split up, and that's okay. As for right now, we've got a 38 to 10 lead for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs over the Shakota Lady Wildcats. Uh, We are going to take a break. We're going to listen to the rest of our sponsors since we have 10 now. That's five minutes worth of commercials. And we've got five minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock. We're going to run back through the rest of them, and we'll be back with second half action in Muldrow, Oklahoma. You're listening to Muldrow Lady Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by todayinfortsmith.com. Hey, we're going to bring you back in live. Clint Davis and Dennis McCaslin here for Today in Fort Smith. No, we are todayinfortsmith.com. We don't work for those people. We are todayinfortsmith.com. It sure does beat working for a living. 38 to 10, the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs are up on the Shakota Lady Wildcats. It's every bit of a barn burner that we thought it would be. A fresh eight minutes on the clock. We're going to have third quarter action coming up. We've got Matty Chambers Cameron Johnson, Hannah Boyette, Taylor Collins, and Chalen Mays in the ball game. 15, 33, 21, 14, and 23. Those are not lottery numbers next week. Those are the numbers of the players. Now we've got the Shakota Lady Wildcats taking the floor. It almost felt like calling a bingo. We're going to have number 15, Madison Proctor, taking the ball out for Shakota. I probably shouldn't have drank that entire Starbucks double shot of espresso before we started the ball game. But I am live and wired for this action tonight. We're going to have the Muldrow Bulldogs, the boys team, coming up next. We had an inbound pass that went out of bounds. Shakota still has the ball. They almost lost it again, number 10. We still don't have a name on this mystery player. But she does have the basketball. Taylor Collins is going to pick that pass off by herself on a fast break up off the glass. Two points in for Taylor Collins. 40 to 10. We've got a 30 point lead. Almost another picked off pass. We had a touch by Taylor Collins and Madison Chambers. That is out of bounds. We've got my mom listening live. Thanks, mom. We've got the Ramey family listening live as well, so we want to give them a big shout out. We'll see Gage Ramey, number 15, playing for the Bulldogs later on. We've got a ton of people listening live on the website, but they don't show up on my Mixler feed. But whoever's listening on the website, we thank you. Today in fortsmith.com slash muldrow bulldogs. That's where you can listen live on the website. Chalen Mays with a stolen pass down to Taylor Collins up off the glass on a fast break. Another two points in, 42 to 10. 7-10 left on the clock in the third quarter. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs are up all over the Shakota Lady Wildcats. Clayton with a hand up, looking for a pass. That's going to be picked off by Madison Chambers. Taylor Collins with the ball, looking to get up the floor past half court now. Taylor's going to dish it off to Hannah Boyette down to Cameron Johnson. Pulls up for a 15-foot jump shot. And that's in. Good for another 244 to 10. 645 left on the clock in the third quarter. 34 point lead for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. Shakota Lady Wildcats looking for a place to go with this ball. Shot up. No good. Olivia Clayton saves it, passes it back in. Lady Wildcats keeping their possession alive. Proctor with the ball. Over to number 44, Kira Collins. She's calling for a cut, man, and nobody's moving. Somebody help this girl. Down to Olivia Clayton at the low post. Shot up, no good. Fouled by Chalen Mays. That's going to be her third of the ball game. Olivia Clayton headed to the free throw line. We have Shakota on our side. We are sitting stage left. Shakota shooting right underneath us. 
First free throw from Clayton is no good. And the Lady Bulldogs, Hannah Boyette, all smiles to the bench. Talking to Chad Mays up in the bleachers. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Cameron Johnson. Headed back down to the far side of the floor. Madison Chambers drives it in, puts up a shot, no good. But she does get fouled, so Madison Chambers going to the line for two shots. Foul on Olivia Clayton. That's her second one of the ball game. One team foul apiece in this second half. First free throw is up and good from Madison Chambers. That's a continuation for her one for two performance from the free throw line in the first half. Second shot up is good. Now she's shooting 75% from the free throw line. 46 to 10, 36 point lead, 550 left on the clock in the third quarter. Kira Collins with the ball. Taylor Collins looking to pick this thing off. She does. And she's going to have a fast break all the way down the floor, but she misses a layup. That's something we never see. That was a left handed layup, though. Proctor with a two point shot, no good. Rebounded by Madison Chambers, and she's got one all over her back. And we're going to have the ball out of bounds. Chambers passes it in to Hannah Boyette. Hannah bringing the ball up the floor. Oh, if Shaylin Mays would have turned around early, she would have had a pass down low. There's a pass down low. Shaylin Mays up off the glass for two points. Another deuce in the hole, 48-10. to 10. We're creeping up on a 40-point lead for these Muldrow Lady Bulldogs over the Shakota Lady Wildcats. There's a picked off pass by Hannah Boyette. All by herself, left-handed layup. Oh, she missed that one, too. There is two missed left-handed layups in a row for these Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. Goodness. When I was a kid, my dad kept telling me to dribble with the other hand. I never understood why until I grew up a little bit. But this is what he was talking about. If you cannot make an off-handed layup, it's going to hurt you in the long run. Here's a shot blocked by Taylor Collins. Madison Chambers tries to save it. She's on the line. That ball is going to belong to Shakota. We would have a 52 to 10 lead here for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs if they could have hit those two offhand layups. Inbound pass over to Henson, back to Proctor. Down to Clayton, picked off by Taylor Collins. She's on a fast break, and she takes it all the way to the hoop. That right-handed layup is good. Another two points. You got a 40-point lead for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. 50 to 10. They lead the Shakota Lady Wildcats. This is every bit of a killing. Pass almost picked off by Hannah Boyd. There's a shot by Henson from the free throw line. Good for two. The Lady Wildcats have their 12th point of the ball game. We're going to have a timeout. Take a 30-second break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Muldrow Lady Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by todayinfortsmith.com. And we're going to bring you back in. They actually did not call a timeout. They just had a big substitution. Paige Hughes missed a three-point shot. Brianna Dawes with a three-point shot. That's missed. Shakota with the rebound on a fast break. Back down to their side of the floor. Shot up by Proctor. I'm sorry, Saray Butler, and that's no good. We're going to have a jump ball. Paige Hughes. Ties it up with Saray Butler, and that ball will belong to the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. Paige got busted in the mouth on that. She is making sure her teeth are still there, and they are. Possage bringing the ball up the floor over to McCloria. Right-hand side, three-point line. Brianna Dawes back over to Paige Hughes, back to Possage. In the left corner, and ball back over to Brianna Dawes to Alicia McCloria, who pulls up and gives it off to Paige Hughes. Down low to Maddie Reeves. Pass gets picked off. Possage comes back up with it. Brianna Dawes, three-point shot. Not good. And then we're going to have a foul on Maddie Reeves. That's going to be her first of the ball game. 50-12, Muldrow Lady Bulldogs up all over. That's her second foul. I'm sorry, Maddie Reeves, two fouls now. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs up on the Shakota Lady Wildcats. Top of the key over to the left side, back over to the left corner. Skip pass. Goes out of bounds for Shakota, and that ball will belong to Muldrow. Dennis is over here looking at our postseason bracket, making sure we've got our games squared away. 
So at the end of this one, we can tell you when and where and what we're going to be doing with the Lady Bulldogs. McCloria, two-point shot, no good. Rebounded by Maddie Reeves. And Maddie goes back up, two points in and good. 52-12, to 12, back to a 40-point lead for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. 142 left on the clock in this quarter. We are in the third, about to finish up, head to the fourth. Ball over to the left corner, shot up, no good. Rebounded by Paige Hughes, Lady Bulldogs, bringing the ball up the floor. Past half court now, pass over to the left to Possage. Back to Brianna Dawes at the free throw line, shots up, no good. Rebounded by Shakota. That's number 44. No, I'm sorry, number 45, Gracie Lewis. Back to Gracie Lewis, over to the left side now, and we've got... Who is that? Number four, Jade Sexton into the ball game. And Shakota is going to throw it out of bounds. That ball is going to belong to Muldrow with 103 left in the third quarter. Brianna Dawes out of bounds here. Pass into Possage. Possage in no hurry to do anything with the basketball. This is always a dangerous time for the Lady Bulldogs. They hold on to the ball and then they give it up without getting a shot off. Here's McClory over on the right side with the basketball back over to Possage. Down to Paige Hughes in the corner. Skip pass to McCloria. Brianna Dawes comes up with the ball. Back over to McCloria. Possage, 25 seconds left. Over to McCloria. She's on the right-hand side at the three-point line. Dribbles back to the top of the key and gives it up to Possage. Possage is going to dribble around and give it up to Paige Hughes. Paige is going to dish it off to McCloria. Seven seconds left now. And McCloria stutters and pulls up for a two-point shot. That's no good. Put back up by Brianna Dawes at the buzzer, and that's no good. And we're going to take it to the fourth quarter, 52-12. to 12. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs up by 40 points. We're going to take a 60-second break, and we'll be right back. You're listening to Muldrow Lady Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by todayinfortsmith.com. We're going to bring it back in live for the fourth quarter. Shakota has possession to start things out. 52-12 to 12 is the lead. 40 points up for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. It's Ray Butler looking for a place to go with this basketball. Back to Butler off the corner. Gracie Lewis dishes it off, and there's a shot up. Two, no good. Rebounded by Maddie Reeves, and she's going to give it to McCloria, who's going to bring the ball up the floor. She's going to slow it down. Now she's past half court, and she almost loses that. Saray Butler is going to get whistled for the foul. She slapped McCloria about three times. And they finally called it. Chelsea Possage with the ball now. Number four, Jade Sexton playing defense. There's a bounce pass down to Brianna Dawes. Bounce pass to Matty Reeves up off the glass. Good for two points. 54-12 now. 7-10 left on the clock in the fourth quarter. Gracie Lewis, three-point shot. Money. Shakota putting points on the board. They're 54-15 now. Brianna Dawes with the ball. She's going to have to dribble down on the baseline. Gives it up to McCloria. Paige Hughes down to Maddie Reeves. She turns around and puts up a shot. No good, but Maddie gets fouled. She's going to the line for two free throws. Two free throws good from Maddie Reeves. 56-15. to 15. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs with the lead. Ball down in the left corner. Back up to the wing. Top of the key now for Shakota. Off to the right side. Aubrey Cooper gives the ball up to the top of the key. Back to Saray Butler. And a bounce pass down to Lewis, and she goes up. That's good for another two points for Gracie Lewis, number 45. She's in beast mode now. Somebody's got to close the gap for Shakota, and Gracie Lewis is doing it. She looks like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with those goggles on. We're going to see Brianna Dawes and Maddie Reeves come out of the game. We're going to have Lacey Smithson and... Erica Jenkins in the ball game for Muldrow. Shot up. Free throw is no good by Shakota. Rebounded by Erica Jenkins. Pass up the floor to McCloria. She goes up for a two-point shot under the basket, and that's no good, but she draws the foul. So Alicia McCloria going to the free throw line. And we're going to have one free throw good from McCloria, 57-17, back to that 40-point lead. 
And a pass is picked off by Paige Hughes. Off to Posage on a fast break. Good for two points. 59 to 17. Six minutes left on the clock in this fourth quarter. This ball game is everything but over. Butler up past half court to Gracie Lewis. Paige Hughes with another steal. That's two in a row, and she's going to pull things up. Oh, and she loses the ball out of bounds. But that would be two steals in a row for Paige Hughes. We're going to see Megan Powell come into the ball game for the Lady Bulldogs. Down low, back out to the top by Shakota. Top of the key, high post now. Shot up no good, rebounded by Smithson, and Gracie Lewis is going to lose her glasses on the floor. Alicia McCloria with the ball now, bringing it up to half court. And the Lady Bulldogs are going to lose the ball. Shakota has it, bringing it back up to their side of the floor. Four and a half left on the clock, 59 to 17. Pass down low, back out to the left corner. Top of the key, Gracie Lewis back over to Saray Butler. Lady Wildcats passing the ball around. Not a lot of shooting going on. You can tell by the score. There's a pass down low to Gracie Lewis. Gracie's got another two points on the board. 59 to 19, 40 point lead for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. 4.05 left on the clock. Muldrow going to have to score some points here to get past their 60 point margin. Megan Powell with the ball, and she drives and gets it tied up. That's going to be Shakota basketball. Lady Wildcats bringing the ball up the floor now. Gracie Lewis with a shot down low, and Gracie and Lacey <laughs> go to the floor. They get tied up. They're all smiles, though. <laughs> I don't know what that was. She got tackled on the two-yard line, looked like. And now we're going to see Brandon Dawes is going to come check back into the ball game after this first free throw by Gracie Lewis. And here is the first shot up. That's good for Gracie. Brandon Dawes coming into the game for Alicia McCloria. Gracie Lewis, second free throw. Shot up is good. Gracie Lewis dominating the points for the Shakota Lady Wildcats. It's 59 to 21. Jenkins with the ball over to Lacey Smithson, who puts up a two point shot. No good. Brianna Dawes with the rebound. Erica Jenkins with the ball, and she's going to power her way in and get fouled by Saray Butler. So Jenkins with the ball out of bounds. We've only got five team fouls on Shakota, four on Muldrow. Nobody in the bonus or the double yet. Brianna Dawes pass over to the left side. Brianna Dawes with the ball, top of the key. Pass over to Jenkins. Back to Dawes. Back to Jenkins. Down to Megan Powell, and she's going to lose the ball. Megan Powell just panicked. That's going to be out of bounds. The Shakota Lady Wildcats will have the ball back. Bringing it down the floor. Ball into the corner. Shot for three is no good. Rebounded by Saray Butler. That was number 25, Alyssa Brown, with the three-point shot missed. And another three-point shot. That's no good. Smithson with the rebound. She's going to get fouled by number 14, Aubrey Cooper. That's got to be her fourth foul of the ball game. And it is. Erica Jenkins out of bounds to Brianna Dawes. Two minutes left on the clock in this half. The Muldrow boys. Over on their side of the floor, coming out of the locker room, getting poised and ready to go. Lacey Smithson with a two-point shot is up and no good. Megan Powell tries to go for the rebound, and that's out of bounds. Belongs back to Shakota. 1.52 on the clock. Lady Bulldogs have not scored in quite some time. 59-21 to 21 is the score. Pass down low. Back out to Saray Butler for a three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by nobody, and they're going to call that out of bounds. Last touch by Megan Powell. Shakota's going to keep the basketball. Saray Butler inbound pass. Three-point shot, no good. Erica Jenkins tries to go for the rebound, and she cannot hang on to the basketball. Shakota will retain possession. 
So Ray Butler passing the ball in now to number four, Jade Sexton. Nope. She's going to fake it. Number 25, Alyssa Brown has the ball. Two-point shot off the glass is good. 59-23, to 23, the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs with the lead now. Erica Jenkins. Pass over to Brianna Dawes. A minute and 10 seconds left on the clock. Lacey Smithson with the ball. Pass over to Brianna Dawes. Back to Jenkins for three. And that's off the mark. Lacey goes back up for a shot after the rebound. That's no good. Brianna Dawes back up, and she gets fouled. Shot no good. Brianna's going to the line for two free throws. We're going to see if the Lady Bulldogs can break 60 points. We've got 55 seconds on the clock. First shot from Brianna Dawes. No good from the free throw line. That is the problem with these Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. All kinds of missed free throws and silly turnovers. Second shot, Brianna Dawes is good. 60-23. to 23. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs with the lead. 54 seconds left on the clock. Number four, Jade Sexton with the basketball. She's going to pass it off down low and get fouled by Lacey. Lacey's going to pick up the foul. That's going to be her third of the ball game. Gracie Lewis with a shot for three is no good. Rebounded by Aubrey Cooper. Shot up is no good. Erica Jenkins. Comes up with the rebound for the Lady Bulldogs, and she is over on the left side of the court trying to keep the ball away from Saray Butler. Brianna Dawes with the ball now. Nobody's in a hurry. 30 seconds left in this ball game. Brianna Dawes drives in and gives it to Megan Powell. Up off the glass for two points is Megan. 62-23. to 23. 17 seconds left. Here is a pass down to Cooper and back out to Sexton for three, and that's no good. Jenkins with the ball. Eight seconds left on the clock. Jenkins is pushing down the floor. The Muldrow Lady Bulldogs are going to come away with this win. Saray Butler is going to tie the ball up with .7 seconds left. That's a wonderful strategy. All we've got to do is get the inbound pass. The game is over. The Muldrow Lady Bulldogs win this one 62-23. And I don't think we've got a lot of stats that we can keep up with here. I know Dennis is doing some marking down and circling before we take you uh, to listen to sponsors, we're going to see Dennis. Are you ready with whatever stats you've got, or are we going to talk yeah, about the a- bracket? Absolutely, we'll, we'll hit the we'll hit the brackets a little bit later. But uh, uh, of course, most of the starters hit the bench early in this one for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs, uh, leading the way with uh, 14 points with uh, Taylor Collins. Chambers finished with 11. Um, had six points for Johnson for Cameron Johnson. Also, six points for Shayla Mays. Five points for Hannah Boyette. Uh, four points, um, five points for Possage, four points for Reeves from Maddie Reeves, and three points from uh, from da- from Dawes, and that's all the scoring for the uh, for the Lady Bulldogs. Uh, for the uh, for the Dakota Lady Wildcats, there wasn't a whole lot to talk about. Um, Lewis finished with nine points, uh, six points for Clayton, and then two points each for uh, um, Henson. And um, um, Cooper. So that was all the scoring, and uh, we uh, I've about got this all figured out on the uh, uh, where they go from here. Uh, we're absolutely positive the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs will play 6:30 Thursday night at Shakota. Uh We know that for a fact. We don't know who they'll play yet, but we do know that for a fact. Um, the Muldrow boys. If they win tonight, they'll play at 8 p.m. Thursday at Shakota. If they lose, they play 3 p.m. Thursday. So we, yeah, we could have a long day in Shakota. We could really have a long day because listen to what Roland's doing. <laughs> if the Roland girls win, they'll play at 6.30 at Hilldale. We'll have to split up. If they lose, they play at 1.30 at Hilldale. So conceivably... We could go to Hilldale, do that game, and then go back and do the other games. But the problem with that is the Roland boys are going to play either at 8 p.m. or at 3 p.m. at Hilldale. So um, we're either going to have we're either going to have two games in one place and two games in another place, or well, that's that's what we're going to yeah, have. Yeah, we're going to have that either way. But but as far as the timing goes, it all depends upon. If they win and lose, I mean, it could it could technically work out 
to where we could almost do all the games, go from Hilldale, jump in the car, go back to Dakota and do the last two games, just depending on what time they play. Depends on wins and losses. That's yeah. what it's all going to boil down Depends to. Depends on, on who wins and rolling, really. Yeah. And so, now we've already got the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs have taken their pictures out in the middle of the court. They have been crowned and given a plaque as district champions. And so, we're going to take that win and move back into, um, well, we're going to go to commercials right now. We're going to take a break, and uh, we'll be right back. We're going to hear from our sponsors and then we'll be back with Dennis and the boys' game. You're listening to Muldrow Lady Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by todayinfortsmith.com. 